Hi, I'm Evan Scott from Seymour Duncan. I'm here in Nashville with a man himself, Seymour Duncan. Hello, everybody. And uh, we're here to talk about electric guitar pickups. You know, a lot of people don't realize how important guitar pickups are for the tone of the electric guitar. You know, the sound really starts at the pickups. It's at the very beginning of the tone chain. And because of that, it's so important. But there's a lot of ways that you can use pickups to really dial in your tone. You can compensate for some tonal deficiencies in the guitar. You can go for more output, more sustain, more harmonics. You can emulate the sound of your favorite artist all by changing or tweaking the, the tone of your guitar through the pickups. And fortunately we have the pickup master himself, Seymour W. Duncan, to talk with us today about pickups. So Seymour, would you say that uh, you can use different magnets in the pickup in order to change the tonality of your guitar? Yeah, magnets are a very important part. Uh, one of the main components, you have a magnet and a coil and a coil shape or coil form and the proximity of a pickup within the guitar itself under the guitar string. And the strings are very important too. The diameter, the larger diameter string will produce more energy and move more magnetic field which produces a louder output signal for the uh, guitar pickup. But yeah, the magnets are, to me, uh, uh, one of the things I enjoy about making pickups is because I, I enjoy calibrating magnets. I enjoy uh, using Alnico 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s. Uh, I can take an Alnico 6 and I can calibrate it down to an Alnico 2 or an Alnico 1. I mean, I can really age them uh, pretty far back, however you want to do it. And to me, I like a weaker magnet, personally, because you get a smoother sound and you get a little bit more, it sounds more compressed, you know, which is, for me, the the way I play with my antiquities because I calibrate all the magnets on those particular pickups. So would you say with an Alnico magnet that uh, the magnet can actually calibrate itself over time as it loses its power when uh, the pickup is exposed to certain environmental factors and then how do you uh, replicate that process in, uh, in, a, in a basically a workshop environment? Well I have my uh, meters, I have a, a lot of gauss meters that I use and I can actually take a magnet and sometimes it's best to pull it out of a pickup so it's not being uh, inhibited by different pole pieces or the uh, studs that are in a, say a humbucking type of pickup and the, uh, the metal keeper underneath. So I like sometimes pulling out, then I can really get a picture of what the, the magnet looks like. You know, I can calibrate from each end, I can look down the middle to see how it's calibrated, and then um, I can pretty much 99% replicate that type of magnet with what I'm doing with the processes I've developed at the company. So the magnet's really key to the tone of the pickup, but in addition to the magnet, there's the actual coil itself, which is basically a long strand of hair-thin copper wire wrapped thousands of times around a bobbin. And there's different factors that go into the coil that make it sound the way it sounds. And Seymour, what are some of those factors that determine the voice of the pickup from the standpoint of the coil? Well, the coil, you know, depending if you put a thousand turns on a, a bobbin, of say 42 wire, you get a certain frequency and a resonant peak. If you change it to 43 wire, it's going to be a little bit thinner and a little bit more uh, capacitance to it, so it won't be as bright sounding. So uh, I like playing around with a lot of different type of magnets and everything and just uh, uh, working with the coil because to me, there's a balance you can do with the coil and the amount of turns, amount of output, and then the type of uh, magnet you're using so that you can have a strong magnet and you can have a, a coil wound with like 44 wire which is really going to knock the hand, uh, high end off but the the brighter magnet will compensate and then give you a lot higher output and that's similar to what I do with a JB pickup and everything so there's a combination of magnet strength and the coil number of turns and the coil diameter, the magnet wire diameter, that all determines the frequency and can uh, really help with your output of a pickup. Okay, now it's starting to get a little bit complicated because we're talking about a magnet and a coil of wire, but then you have to balance them in different ways so that the pickup sounds musical. Right. But I guess that's the reason that uh, so few people actually make high quality pickups or else if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. I've been making pickups for probably 40 some years now, so I, I've 
probably taken apart thousands of pickups, you know, and I, I see how they're made. I, I write down everything, and I, I do. I copy it, I photograph it, I measure everything, and I really keep pretty good records of what how things are made, and having the, the right pitch, winding pitch, which is a, how many turns per layer is very important, and the tension is very important to pick up the coil shape, the height and width of a bobbin uh, can determine uh, different tones that you get out of it and everything. So there's a, all these combinations, and there's probably a million factors, m million different tones you could get with all these different variables from the magnet, the coil, the iron load, the spacing, the uh, type of magnet wire you're using, all the variables. So, I mean, there's so many multiples of variables that get into making different types of pickups and that's what I enjoy doing. I, that's why I make Sidor many, which uh, my reps and everybody, they kind of get upset with me because, uh, oh boy, what are you doing now? You know, And it's just a combination of different uh, uh, components which make a pickup and it's, it's really cool to play around with it and have a facility where I can actually do that. You know, so for me it's fun. And it's probably also the reason why so many artists use your pickups. Seymour, in terms of artists, would you say that if uh, a player wants to get the tone uh, that they hear from a particular artist whose tone they admire, that using the same pickup would be a good place to start? Uh, I think you probably, you know, 90% is, is for the tone of the guitar itself, you know, that will really help. But the, a lot of people fail to realize it's, it's the player themselves, which is really important factor. I mean, everybody says, you know, I have Jeff Beck's pickup, and I have his amp, and I have his effects. Why don't I sound like Jeff Beck, you know? And there's, there's a reason. <laughs> Because Jeff is his own man, you know. He's a little, he's a little, he's a little monster, you know. He's just an incredible player, you know. And and uh, I listen to Noki Edwards from the Ventures and and Dino, uh, you know, all these different players, and they all have their different techniques, how they play, where they pick, the gauge strings they use, how hard they play, the type of amplification, the effects. I mean, there's so many. I mean, there's so many variables to try to sound exactly like a particular artist. But you can come very close using start with a pickup because that's the heart of uh, the sound, and uh, you go from there, and then just really listen to the finesse of the person's playing to understand his his uh, technique, his way he bends, the way he, he picks, the way he holds a note. I mean there's so many variables that you have to learn in that respect of another artist, uh, their style, but starting with a pickup is a very important way to get there. Well, great. So that's about it on uh, Pickup Talk. We're coming to you from the NAM show in Nashville. I'm Evan Scott, head of artist relations for the Seymour Duncan Company with the man himself, Mr. Seymour W. Duncan. If you have any additional questions, go to SeymourDuncan.com. There's a lot of resources there, uh, not the least of which is the web forum where you can ask questions and have them answered in real time and uh, learn how to improve your tone by starting with your pickups. From the NAM Show, here with Seymour Duncan, Evan Scop, we are out. Thank you, and I want to appreciate everybody here and uh, get that guitar out and practice. Take care, everybody.